What's going on, Beyond Six Figures family? Justin Wall here once again. And if you don't know what this video is about, let me jump right into it so you guys can get briefed right away. So over the last few days, I put out a post showing $250,000 worth of sales and saying that I'm going to give you guys the exact product behind those sales. Now, guys, I'm going to do that for you today. There was actually enough engagement in the post where you guys put so many comments in the comment section below that I'm going to go ahead and reveal this product to you and unveil everything that I did to actually go out there and make these sales. Now, as you guys know, I had a lot of business opportunities come up in the last few months, so I really didn't have time to scale this fully, as you'll be able to see. And I really want to go out, go out on a limb and give you guys this product just as a way to, for, you know, to say thank you for everything you guys have done for Beyond Six Figures and the group. I really couldn't be more grateful. We're building a culture here that is pretty much second to none, and you know, it's only getting better. So with no further ado, guys, the product behind $250,000 worth of sales that I'm going to be giving to you guys that you can advertise today and start making money today because it is a winning product is the following. So first, as you see here, it's my advertising screen. Okay, this is my ads manager with all the adverts, etc. in the background. But first, I'm going to show you the exact product that I actually went out there and did a quarter million in sales with, guys. So ready? Drum roll, please. Boom. Okay, guys, this is the winning product behind all of the madness. So for this reason alone, I want you guys to load this onto your store and start marketing it today. Now, I'm going to be walking you guys through the exact process and systematic strategies that I use to actually get the quarter million in sales. And keep in mind, guys, I didn't even have time to tweak it or scale it. So if you got the time and you want to use these tactics and strategies to generate the initial pixel data, you can most definitely do so and scale the product probably further than I did. So, guys, let me move over to Ads Manager now to show you exactly what is going on here. Okay, so. First off, you're going to see extremely incredible ROAS all down here. Okay, this is, like, this is a ridiculous ROAS. And it's, it's so consistent. So the reason that it's such consistent ROAS is because of the fact that I've used my algorithmic targeting strategy to make this happen. And with that being said, guys, what that is, is you're divvying up each individual categorial, categorial keyword into its own column. Okay, guys, so we're not mixing random keywords. We're putting, let's say, baby diapers in one column. Okay, and baby toys in one column. So all different types of items have all different types of algorithms. Okay, and it's best that we keep the algorithm together once we're targeting. Now, guys, let's go back to the product real quick, just so I can explain a little bit about this. Now, as you guys can see, this is a baby high chair harness. Okay, so you could actually make a high chair out of your average out of your average chair. So, with that being said, guys, this is an absolute need for a lot of parents if they're going to a restaurant or just need their child to stay secure in his seat. Okay, without you know the proper equipment, they can purchase this and have it delivered to their doorstep and use it for their child. Now, guys, the reason that we're you know that this product works is because of the emotional connection behind it. Okay, parents have an emotional connection with their children, of course, they obviously love them and they want to care for them and you know pretty much cater to their lifestyle in any way possible. So they want to bring their child's places and not have to worry about bringing a random chair. So they'll bring this portable high chair and it'll be able to be utilized to have their child sit near them wherever they might be, regardless of their, their being a high chair for use or not. So as you guys can see, the price here is $1,190. So what I typically want to do is 2 to 3x the price, okay? So I was putting this at around $39.95 to $44.95 when I was selling it. When I didn't have much pixel data, it was $39.95, okay? Because I wanted to get data quicker than the others. But once I got data, right, we upped the price to $44.95 and we were able to get some more profit on that end. We also had a one-click upsell sequence on the back end so people can buy multiple variations of this with just, you know, one with with one acquisition cost right we're only paying for that customer once and then we're, we're shooting into a back-end ocu funnel which is awesome okay guys so i'm gonna be going through that as well so bear with me here i'm probably talking a little bit fast so make sure you pause the video and take a notes because this can honestly change your life or start your business you guys can use this pixel data you get from this product to start a baby brand okay guys i'm not, I'm not just saying that either you can start a baby brand so let me let me go back to the advertisement just so you can see exactly what's going on here Okay, so let me move over here and there's some light in the background. Close this real quick. <clears throat> awesome. Now, guys, what I want to start off by saying is that I want you to take a look at the amount spent here, okay? This is actually ridiculously low amount spent because I really didn't have much time to spend that much on this product because of all the business ventures that came up with Beyond Six Figures recently, guys, which 
I thank you guys for all the support and the merchandise just came out. If you want to get, you know, possibly get a free one, shoot me a message. I'll be having them listed on my site where you guys can grab, you know, whichever one you want, tank hoodie, etc. But anyway, guys, let's talk about ads. Okay, guys. So I use my algorithmic targeting setup to actually make this happen. And like I said, guys, it's a bunch of divvied up keywords that aren't randomized. So they're very, very categorized in their own separate way, whether it be a certain type of a product or a certain brand of baby product, right? Because at the end of the day, everything that is in the same column for targeting must be algorithmically categorized and to enable us to scale fluently and linearly. Okay, guys, if, you, if you're adding random keywords, the algorithm is going to get mixed up and you're not going to be able to scale as effectively as you might think. Now, guys, take a look here. This is, we have all $5 budgets here. Okay. So I ran a lot, a lot of $5 budget ad campaigns. Let me tell you why. The reason is because I want to divvy up my market share very, very fluently throughout the entirety of the niche. So I want to test many, many different markets, guys. Okay. By testing many different markets on many different budgets, I'm going to be able to see which ones are working the best. And with that being said, we're going to use $5 budgets to do a basically 360 view of the entire market and do every type of keyword and algorithmic targeting strategy and breakdown that we possibly can. Now, with that being said, guys, look at the ROAS on this. Okay. We have 22 ROAS. These are perfect for manual bidding scaling, okay? ROAS like this, a five and higher, is absolutely ideal for manual bidding. So I actually didn't even get to the manual bidding part of this yet. So maybe you guys, once you get ROAS like this with this product, you can jump to the manual bidding strategies that I share in the group and you'll be able to make it happen. Real quick, if you have ROAS a five or higher, I want you to throw all the, all the audiences inside that ad set into a new campaign. Make it a manual bid campaign, okay? One day click conversion window, you're gonna click target cost and set a bid cap. Okay. With that being said, your bid's going to be two to three X your average cost per purchase on your previous, on your previous ad campaigns. By having a higher bid, you can have priority over other people in the same market. So that is going to give you better, better, a lot better quality customers, guys. Now, what I was saying, thousand dollar budget, one day click and two to three X you bid on your cost per purchase. So two to three X CPP guys, as well as a one day click conversion window with a thousand dollar budget. And you're going to let, they're going to let it ride out for about 24 hours. Okay. After the 24 hour mark, you should see be, you should be seeing break even or a little bit of a loss, maybe even a little bit of a profit. But the thing is, you're not expecting mass profitability on the 20, first 24 hours of a manual bidding campaign. It's not how it works. Manual bidding does really well once it gets a lot of sales. And then on hour 25, you know, one hour after the first day has passed, it's going to start converting a lot more profitably because of the data that has acquired. Now, don't get discouraged if you're breaking even on day one of manual bidding because that's not how it's supposed to work, guys. Now, the $5 automatic bidding setup, I mean, yeah, $5 automatic bidding setup that I'm running here is known as my big bang method, guys, the big bang method where I'm running mass amounts of $5 ad sets to dilute the market, just like I said before. Now, this is a very good tactic that I've been doing for a while on many of my different stores that have got me to the six and seven figure mark in a lot of my businesses, guys. So with that being said, I really want you to start off testing as many ad sets as you possibly can for each type of um, interest. So let's say we have Huggies, right? We have Pampers, and we're going to put all the different types of baby brands in one column. That will have a $5 budget. We're going to put all the type of different types of baby toys in one column. That will have a different type of budget, okay? We're going to put mothers, okay? Mothers of child, of children, you know, of so-and-so age who probably would be sitting in this high chair, okay? We want to use marketing logic to determine the age of the child that would probably be using this product so we can determine the targeting for the mother in the, in the interest targeting. So as well as any, pretty much anything else you can think of. So I want you guys to go on Google and do some research on what people who, on what people buy who have children, okay? This will give you the opportunity and the edge to go out there and, you know, find more targeting interests that you may not have even thought to target. So in my, in my Beyond Six Figures algorithmic targeting roadmap, guys, I give you 14 different breakdowns of how you can target every individual niche. And with that being said, you have 14 different uh, different aspects that you're hitting the market with. So this is extremely valuable for the fact that you can go out there and pretty much hit every 360 angle of the market and see if your product's going to work. Now, guys, you don't even have to test this product because I actually found out that it already is a winner. So you should be able to go out there and make sales today, if not tomorrow, because I went out there and tested the market demand for this. And I know there wasn't many people selling this except for me at the time. Yeah. So guys, that's pretty much what I want you to do. I showed you the product and I showed you how to break it down and I showed you how to scale with manual bidding. So I want you guys to go out there 
and make it happen. And if you do get a lot of sales and you do get good revenue and you do get good profit margins, I want you to post your results in this group, guys, and say what works for you and make it happen, guys, because at the end of the day, Let's take a look here at this amount spent. We got $31, made almost $700. That's a ridiculous amount of money, guys. $11 spent, $220. $30, $600. $11, $124. Let's, let's keep scrolling, guys. Wow. $94 spent, $732. This campaign was so ready to scale. So I need you guys to go out there and make it happen for me, okay? Because at the end of the day, I'm willing to give you guys my edge and willing to give you guys my findings to, so you guys can benefit. I know you guys have been watching me in the group for a while, and you're like, wow, this kid really cares about us. Newsflash, I actually do care about you guys, okay? And here is how I can prove it. I'm literally essentially giving you a product that was making me money, and I'm giving it to you guys, and I'm not going to scale it further, okay? So I want you guys to go out on a limb, give this a shot, and post your results in my group. And once you do so, guys, I'm going to be messaging one of you guys and personally helping you scale it. Whoever has the highest results from this, I will personally help you scale it. So that's, that should be some motivation to go out there and make it happen, guys. I want you to record a little video of, your, of you actually going out there and doing it and then showing your sales and showing everything, posting in the group, and then I'll, I'll, I might shoot you a message and help you scale that thing. So that's about it for me, guys. Justin Wall here. And real quick, let's take one more look at the product. It's the baby infant high chair, okay, the high chair attachment for infants that want to go out there and actually sit at a table when the parents don't have something to actually utilize for them at that very moment. Now, guys, before I go, I just want to show you the exact product page I used to make $250,000 in sales with this exact product. So you guys feel free to take it and use it on your own site. Take it verbatim, every word I wrote. I wrote the entire description. That's how your description should be wrote, as well as the layout of your product page. Now, guys, it says add to cart. I highly advise you make it say buy it now. A stronger call to action results in a higher conversion rate. Hope you guys enjoy. Now, guys, I hope this really is going to help you guys make some money today and you know really invest in your brand because online and e-commerce entrepreneurship is the greatest thing to happen and is the easiest way to make a six and seven figure business than there has been ever in the entirety of the world. So. Have some faith, guys. You know, building a six to seven figure figure business isn't as hard as you may think. It's just time consuming and takes a lot of effort. And you just gotta you just gotta work and have ambition, guys. Okay, because at the end of the day, I'm here for you. If you have any questions, reach out to me. I would love to work with you guys and I would love to make your dreams come true. So that's about it for me, guys. Justin Wall from Beyond Six Figures. Super excited that you guys showed enough engagement where I actually went out there and I'm giving you the I'm giving you guys a case study on the entire back end process of how I went out there and scaled my ads. $250,000 and there was still a lot more room for more sales. So here you guys go on me. I love you guys so much. So that's about it. Justin Wall, founder of Beyond Six Figures and post your results in the group from this case study as well as this product so I can help you scale it further. Talk to you guys soon. Justin Wall out.